Hello everybody, welcome once again to Let's Play Medieval 2, the English campaign. And as I'm currently speaking, we, the World Cup is on, we know that. Um, oh, he's got blood on his face. Jesus wept. I'm just watching the Spain-Switzerland game and Switzerland have just scored. They're 1-0 up against the tor one of the tournament favourites. That is quite unbelievable. I am so happy. I love supporting the underdog, especially when I don't support the other team. Right, enough of the football. Just a quick football update there for you, but now we have finished football. And we're on with the more pressing issues, such as why the hell are two heretics still stood in my lands? Yes, your highness. This is the heathen in I cannot denounce them. I cannot the burn them. Will not I have a brainwave. I have a brainwave. Who else can get rid of heretics? Assassins can get rid of heretics. Toby the Killer. A mere poxy heretic should be no problem after killing numerous mm. French family members, surely. Just name the term. Uh, yes! <laughs> if you want a man to do the job, pick the right man. Oh, King Ambrose is getting some dread and some authority. Building up his repertoire. And he hadn't even started fighting on the battle map yet. We could create him to be the greatest king in English history. Need someone removed, sir. Okay. I'm getting all hot and bothered in the excitement here. Right, so... Uh, how much have we got to spend here? We have 8,000 to spend, so we get a market, because that brings us trade, and we need some cash. Dublin cannot upgrade... Nottingham has got the Citadel, but all of these will cost 9,000 a turn. That is far too expensive. So we'll just leave it there for the moment, ticking over. There's no rush to build those buildings just yet. Can we, ah, we can recruit English dismounted knights. Look at that. The pinnacle, the elite of the English army. The bet our opponents will quiver as they see those guys approaching. Almost like the... what were they called? The Celts? The Gauls! That's it! The Gauls quivered as they saw Julius Caesar marching through their lands. Yes, it will be the same type of thing. Right, here we are. I'm sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. I think we need to end the turn. Don't think I've missed anything off here. My lord. Oh, look! Fouche de Poitiers. <laughs> I'm no good with French pronunciations. <sighs> who is it who wants to speak with us? Who wants to parley? The Russians? What do you bring? Do you bring cash? Trade? No? You just bring a hand and wave it in my face. For that, I am not grateful. So get out. And don't bother me again. Right, where's that other heretic? Yeah, seize the man with the plan. Oh, he's there, look. He's now moved down into French lands. Oh, no. He's just in Angus at the moment. Sir. Nay. Oh. Yes. Oh, Goodbye. My word. And you condemn yourself <laughs> to purgatory. I should have thought of that from the start. So. Heretics getting eliminated. The French begging for a ceasefire. The Milanese repelled at Marseille. Why on earth in my last set of videos did I get so frustrated when all I had to do was think about things logically, listen to you guys with your sound advice. I knew it would come good in the end. Alas, it is not over yet and it is not quite time to celebrate. But it is feeling like I should almost be there. Mark my words, when the French have been utterly vanquished, and I get that little message that the French are no more, then I shall take a moment to celebrate. Have one of the good old-fashioned Roman triumphs as we march back through lands, waving the heads of our enemies on sticks. Right, we have 8,000 to spend and some building work to do, so let's start more construction. What do we need? Naval Academy? No. Market? Fairground? Yes. York, what do we need? Fairground? Indeed. And another 3,000 to spend. Inverness, Dublin still can't upgrade. Nottingham is still waiting patiently for its larger buildings. And I really do need to sort Rons out with some decent farming because 
their tax rate is low, but yet their still public order is quite low. Mainly because of heresy, but also because of squalor, which means we need to upgrade it. Actually, that can wait and we'll upgrade it. Upgrading the walls will reduce squalor, hopefully will increase public order. Okay, that should be the plan. And we're still only losing 836. So, Angers, you can wait patiently for the next turn. Okay, and that's now commence the next stage of this turn, which is bringing my army north. Yes, sire. Two more turns. Go no further today, sire. I'm going to wait patiently. King Ambrose is going to wait patiently. He could easily attack Paris now and take it quite swiftly. Hell, he could take any of the French settlements. I have that confidence in him, you know. But I want to do things properly and I want him to meet with him to form another army and I'm going to attack two French settlements at a time and I'll tell you why I want to do that the reason being is because as we well know Popey here doesn't like us so the longer it takes us to attack French settlements I'll only get two or three turns before he lays down the challenge and says right you either stop attacking or I excommunicate you if I attack two settlements at the same time, it's obviously going to be quicker, so I can take more French settlements before the Pope threatens to excommunicate me. Make sense? I hope so. So, that's why he's not going to attack just yet, and he's going to wait for the, the reinforcements to arrive. Don't worry, my friends, you don't have to wait much longer. He's almost there. Who do you want dead? Not possible, sir. Toby. Not possible, Toby. I would not believe that anything is not possible. You seem to have everything under control. Yes. yes. Oof! No, 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 no. Him. Sir. Oh, it's all gone wrong. What's happened? Who do you want dead? Let's see. You have a target in mind. I want to see if you're going to get as good as uh, my friend uh, Toby. He's 59, and when he dies, my God, am I going to have a silence for him? Because he is the greatest assassin I've ever had. A great man, if it was in modern times, he would have been knighted, given his own lands, you know. He would have been held in the highest regards. So, let's see if you can live up to the expectations. I only answer to Mohwa, no other. Mohwa. Just name the target, my lord. Hmm, 32%. You have a target. Oh! You slay! I like it! Starting off where Toby leaves off. Ah, what did I have to worry about? Toby's gone, and I have a replacement right here. Need someone removed, sir. Thomas Carpenter. Give me another assassin, please. I like these assassins. Yes. We're going to be chopping people's heads off, poisoning them with snakes and poison darts. Left, right and centre, like it's going out of fashion. That's what we're going to do. People are going to be fearful. Oh, I see another one of them cronies right there. I must show your people the truth, Lord. I must. Yes. Who do you want dead? So you can As go you and kill him now. So we have everything under control. Assassins has been killing family members of the French and also killing heretics. Oh, oh. one sound of death of more people. I bring word from my people, noble lord. Ah, Russians. How about I give you map information? And you give me, let's say... 3,000? 3,000 florins. That has got to be an offer you can't refuse. I do not think you would accept in my position. Jeez, <sighs> Louise. Do you know what? How about we just do a straight swap? This is not something we will agree to. I'm obviously losing my diplomacy uh, touch here. Normally I would get this quite easily, but now I can't be bothered with you. We have no complaint. This meeting was quite useless. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, but you came to me. <coughs> Poor, yes. French Pope is dead. Give me a Pope that will favour me. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Ah, I'm a bit higher. A bit higher. Pope Nicholas of Denmark, my allies. The only reason why I'm probably not 
quite maximum is because they're also allied with the French as well, which isn't great. But anyway, we've ended the turn, and alas, therefore we must end the part. But fear not, there will be two more parts today, as I promised you, yes. six... Or is it three more? I lose track of what part we're on. But never mind! Just keep watching and enjoying as the French are slowly but surely obliterated off the face of this campaign map. I'll see you next time.